Hey, what's up guys? It's Liam or Weagle on your Overwatch back with a new video today. A new PTR patch has gone live and probably one of the biggest changes to the game ever that doesn't happen directly because of a hero buff has occurred on the PTR. Now there's been a few little changes that we will go through, but we're going to start with the big one. And that is the ultimate charge is now immediately expended when a hero's ultimate ability is activated instead of being depleted over a short period of time. Now I've been in and tested this but this was originally linked to me on Twitter by a guy who made a reddit post It's Jay Yang. I hope I'm saying that right, but basically what this means is is that now you will lose your ultimate if you pop it and die pretty much at any time. This is gonna have all kinds of implications and it's also not gonna be exactly predictable how this plays out. But there are some obvious ones. So let's take Lucio's ultimate for example. When you pop Lucio's ultimate, he jumps up in the air and shouts, let's break it down depending on what team you're on. Well now, once you've done that, you have committed to making that ultimate. So if you die, which happens a lot with Lucio in particular because he's up in the air and he's easier to hit he will lose that ultimate which means that when you use it you need to make sure that you're going to land it so this is a huge skill to ultimates that has just come out of nowhere that you have to be making sure you get your timings right there's a lot of predictions I can make here and I'll go through some of them now McCree's already used to it being a pain to try and get it off so it won't feel too different for McCree and the rumor is that Anna will feel fine too because she also has a pretty quick time to cast her ultimate. However, it is possible for Anna to get slept while using her ultimate because it does work as a projectile. So if Anna casts her ultimate and gets slept or stunned at the same time, she will also lose that ultimate and it won't actually go to the nano boosted target. Other obvious ones like Genji, if you get your blade out and you don't commit to it and get the kill and do it at the right time, you lose that entire higher ultimate no 50 percent no 30 percent that thing is completely gone so this could be a big problem for people that like to use their genji ultimate at the end of a fight when the team are already dead sometimes you can get away with that and that ultimate will actually come back for you for the next fight if you die while trying to cast it that is no longer going to be a thing. This is going to affect every single hero in the game in some way. Heroes like Reinhardt, again, have a very big sound cue before the ultimate hits the floor, and the chances are you're going to lose it before you land it. So this makes the entire game different. This makes the whole alt exchange economy completely different. It's going to make people scared to cast their ultimates, and they should be, but then trying to find that new balance of still making sure you'll pop your ultimates at the right time is going Going to be really difficult. Now one thing that concerns me a little bit is latency because sometimes if I'm playing on higher ping and I cast my tracer ultimate it goes off on my screen but doesn't on the enemies and I still have it in spawn. However, now when I cast it on my screen, will it still disappear? It shouldn't do, but we're only going to be able to test these things as and when they come out and testing them, of course, on the PTR. But a lot of these things are actually hard to test for specifically. A lot of them occur in games naturally, and that's where you usually see issues pop up. So this is an enormous change to the alt economy, guys. Let me know what you think to it in the comment section down below. The next thing to talk about is that Divas boosters. Players now have the option to hold down the boost button rather than it being a one-click thing. This means that you will be able to let go whenever to have your recharge carry on. So maybe you just want to use it to get a small ledge or you can still use it for the full length of chasing someone down and finishing them off, which he's particularly good at right now. This will be, of course, in the controls tab in the options menu. And this change for very good D.Va players, I'm sure, will feel really nice for you to be able to get the pinpoint perfect accurate boosters to exactly where you want to get without having to use the melee cancel. Of course, you'll still be able to use the melee cancel if you want to, but you don't have to. So this is a nice little cute change to help you diva players out there. There's a few more things. I'll read through a few of them and I'll put the rest on screen. There's been a few user interface changes on assault maps. A team colored high water mark will now appear in the progress bar until the attacking team has overtaken the defending team's progress. When capturing an objective, the progress bar is now broken into three segments. When filled, each segment will trigger an animation and audio cue. The number of defenders currently on the objective will now be displayed with the attacker count just below the 
the progress bar. There's also been some spectating and some bug fixes too. So guys, let me know what you think to any of this. This change is absolutely huge. It's going to be crazy if it comes out. Usually when the PTR goes up like this, we see some heroes balances. Oftentimes we'll see some data mine stuff for things like Halloween event or skins or whatever, which happened last year and I assume may happen with this year too. So let me know if you know anything about any of this or what you think to any of this. Be sure to check out our Twitter and don't forget to hit that notification button so you guys get notified when our videos go live. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and have a great day as always. Take care and peace, people.